In this video tutorial, we'll run through a short test in replay to show you the features of the test player. This is the start screen. Candidates need two codes to access the test. First, you enter your session code. The code will be the same for everyone in the session. Then you enter your unique student code and confirm your identity. The test securely downloads to your device. This ensures that you don't experience any disruption if whilst taking the test, the internet is unavailable. Replay remains interactive so that the experience is the same as if there were no network disruption. This test contains an introduction section with instructions relating to taking the test. The helper tools at the top right may be available if needed in your test. Reference materials are resources attached to a test section. They can be useful where a resource such as a formula sheet is required by the candidates to respond to the questions. You have access to a ruler and protractor. These tools can be moved and rotated. A calculator is available and a private notepad to make personal notes. A zoom tool allows me to zoom in and back out when required. You may not see all helper tools in your test as they are only added by the test author where required. This is the end of the introduction, let's enter the test. If the test is timed, a timer displays at the top left, but I can hide it if desired. There are many question types available, but you may not encounter all types in your test. Let's take a look at a few of the question types in action. This is a multiple choice, you answer the question by selecting a response. This is a multiple choices question, where you select one or more responses. This is a graphic gap match interaction question. You drag the images or text from the options at the top to the image below. As I move through the test, the system auto marks question types such as multiple choice. This is a free text entry question type with three stimuli. I can tab between the topics by selecting the links at the top. Free text responses are sent to human markers for scoring. This is a graphic order interaction question. You respond by dragging the numbers into the hotspots on the image. This is an associate interaction question. You match the items by dragging them into the same row. You have an option to flag questions as a reminder that you need to revisit them. You can view flagged questions in the progress summary screen accessed from the top of the screen. Select the links to filter questions to show all, show the questions you have answered, have not answered, haven't visited, and flagged questions. Return to a question by selecting it. This is a text entry question. Enter a free text response into the input field. The correct responses are set by the author. Once you've completed the test, you need to submit your attempt by following the on-screen instructions. The Janison team of designers and developers have built Replay to be intuitive and easy for candidates to use, delivering a consistent and equitable test-taking experience.